Okay. Today's uh, video we're going to review division one, one digit and two digit uh, divisors. Um, we've already done some work with these, but we're going to be uh, taking a closer look at them in class. So I wanted us to get a jump start on it. So first thing we do, we go here to the seven. Can, five, can seven go into three? No. So I'm going to put an X above the three. Can seven go into 34? Well, I know seven times five is 35, so I need to go one less so it can go into it four times. So I write a 4 here above the 4, and then 4, when I work the back around, it's going to be multiplication. 4 times 7 is 28. Okay? And then I'm going to just subtract these numbers here, so I always do my regrouping. And uh, 14 minus 8 is 6. And then I drop down the 8. You only drop down one number at a time, and then we try to decide. 7 can go into 68 how many times? Well, I know 7 times 10 is 70, so it would be 7 could go into 68 9 times. So I write my 9, I work away back around 9 times 7 is 63. I keep everything lined up. Notice how nice and neat everything is. I do my subtraction here. 68 minus 63 is 5. And that would be my remainder. Okay? And then when we have two digit, it is the same process. Okay? So can 18 go into 6? No. So I'm going to put an X here. Can 18 go into 61? Yes. Well, how many times? This is the tricky part. You're working with bigger numbers. Um, this is where you're estimating estimation skills really come into handy. So I'm going to think, well, if this is, I'm going to round this to 60, this to um, 20. I know 20 can go into 63 times, so I'm going to see if 18 works. So I'm going to do off to the side here, 18 times 3. So that's, that's 4, 54. So I know that it goes in 3 times. So I use the estimation to give me a, a number to try, okay? If this was a little, if this was too high, I'd drop a number down. If it was too low, I'd drop a number up. But this goes in three times, eight times three, and nice thing is I already did the math here, so that's 54. Subtract just like I did over there with a the one digit. 11 minus four is seven. And then I'll drop down the three. And then I have to ask myself, well, how many times can 18 go into 73? Well, if I add another 18 on here, so that would be 5, 6. That's 72, so I know it goes four, four times, okay? I use what I already did to help me out. Like I said, you're going to be getting into bigger numbers, and that's where... it gets a little bit complicated. Okay, so I know it goes four times. Four times 18 is 72. And that would be my remainder one. Okay? Process is the same. The numbers get a little bit more challenging with the, the two-digit. We'll be uh, working on this in class. We'll be getting the blocks out. We'll, we'll take a closer look of what the vision is. We'll uh, show the vision in a, uh, different um, forms, and we'll practice with the algorithms also. So that's what we're going to be moving into next week.